it's Ms. Hurst from Hamilton County Schools. We're going to continue our work with fairy tales today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Uh, okay, so today we're going to be analyzing the development of a theme over the course of a text, but before we get started doing that, I want you to do um, your first read of the text, Little Snow White by the Grimm brothers, uh, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. So you're going to notice whom the story is about, what happens, where and when it happens, and why those involved react as they do. You'll annotate by marking vocabulary and key passages you want to revisit, connect ideas within the selection to what you already know and what you've already read, and respond by completing um, a summary of the text. Okay, go ahead and do a uh, first read of Little Snow White. Pause me and press play when you're ready to continue. All right, I want us to get started um, with our close read. Remember when you do a close read, it's smart to go ahead and uh, write answers down, type them up, um, because you will need those answers when you get to your end task. So I wanna look at this paragraph, paragraph three. It says a year later, the king took himself another wife. She was a beautiful woman, but she was proud and arrogant, and she could not stand it if anyone might surpass her in beauty. She had a magic mirror. Every morning she stood before it, looked at herself and said, mirror, mirror on the wall, who in this land is fairest of all? So what words describe the new queen in this paragraph? Why might the authors have chosen to point out these qualities? How might this highlight a theme? All right, next we're gonna look at paragraphs nine and 10, uh, which starts right here. The queen took fright and turned yellow and green with envy. From that hour on, whenever she looked at Snow White, her heart turned over inside her body. So great was her hatred for the girl. The envy and pride grew ever greater like a weed in her heart until she had no peace day and night. Then she summoned a huntsman and said to him, take Snow White out into the woods. I never want to see her again. Kill her and as proof that she's dead, bring her lungs and her liver back to me. What words describe the queen in these paragraphs? What words describe the actions of the queen? What caused the queen to make such a decision? All right, now we're gonna look at paragraph 40, which is actually on the third page. Paragraph 40 says, this startled the queen for she knew that the mirror did not lie and she realized that the huntsman had deceived her and that Snow White was still alive. Then she thought and thought again how she could kill Snow White for as long as she was not the most beautiful woman in the entire land, her envy would give her no rest. What words show the thought process of the queen? How has the queen changed? Has the queen gotten what she wants? All right, now we're gonna look at paragraphs 53 and 54. Um, it says, this time she said, I shall think of something that will destroy you. Then with the art of witchcraft, which she understood, she made a poisoned comb. Then she described, disguised herself, taking the form of a different old woman. Thus she went across the seven mountains to the seven dwarfs, knocked on the door and called out, good wares for sale, for sale. How has the queen insisted on using violence in this story? And right, now we're gonna look at paragraph 63. When the queen heard the mirror saying this, she shook and trembled with anger. Snow White shall die, she shouted, if it costs me my life. How has the queen's goal changed? How does this new goal contribute to the theme of the story? All right, now we're gonna look at paragraph 73. Then her envious heart was at rest as well as an envious heart can be at rest. What does this paragraph tell you? How might this contribute to the theme? And then finally, paragraph 87. 
Then they put a pair of iron shoes into burning coals. They were brought forth with tongs and placed before her. She was forced to step into the red hot shoes and dance until she fell down dead. What violence do you notice in this paragraph? What was the purpose of this violence? Was this violence necessary? Why or why not? All right, now we're gonna do our end task. This is where you're gonna do your best work. You're gonna include evidence from the text. You're gonna write at least a full paragraph, if not more. How did violence contribute to the development of the theme in Little Snow White? When you're done with that, you're good to go. Have a wonderful rest of your day.